hi guys welcome to another video about hacker rank challenge first of all subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notifications bell icon so you get latest updates from my channel so let's jump right into hacker rank the problem we are going to talk about is the repeated string problem i'm going to use javascript and you can use the same algorithm and try to solve it in your own favorite language so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to split the same string into an array so we, can, so we can use the functions from array prototype. So let's do that. So simply do s dot split and give it an empty string so it can get you a simple s as array like this a b and c. But let's just comment this out so first of all our first condition so what if there is no a at all so let's try that so how do we find that if there exists an a in our array or not so we can just say if s includes a but we'll have to inverse it so we we get to the condition that a doesn't exist there so in that case we return zero but what if there is an a but the whole string is just a in that case our array is going to be exactly for one length so if our s dot length equals to one what we'll return is the number of r the number that we are given to find which is n but if both of these are not met what are we going to do we'll have to count it manually so let's do that for that let's initialize a variable count with value 0 and now we'll have to go through all of our array and see if there is an array a then we'll have to count it so how are we going to do that we'll do a simple for each loop I think fancy so we'll say a character and if the character is a we'll just add one to our count and after our for loop what are we going to do so in this case let's say we have given a b c we have counted our a as one but what is going to happen when the n was given 10 now we'll have to count it for the multiple of times that we'll have to add the string so for to achieve 10 we'll have to add the same string three times to get to at least nine how do we do that so we'll have to find out how many times do we have to do that so let's create a variable remaining and how we can do that is we'll have to divide the number n by the length of our array but we'll have to parse it into an integer so we get a whole number and also that we can count it that many times so we'll simply multiply our remaining with that so let's consider the same example here so a b c and then we were given 10 so 10 divided by 3 is going to get in, in in an integer is going to give us 3 so in that case we will just multiply our count with 3 so if abc was the initial in string it was it had already counted one so here by the time we get here we'll have counted three but what about the last tenth index that we'll have to count which is in essentially in our case is going to be add one more here because it will be another a so for that case we'll have to find out how many odd numbers are there and then we can count our array with the same odd numbers since we have done this here the odd number is always going to be less than the whole array so in our case it's going to be one because we have already counted till nine and then we'll all we just have to add one more to it but how do we find that number well simply we can find that number by taking a mod out of our same s dot length with n 
but instead of dividing it we just want the mod of it the remainder of it so in this case it's going to divide it by uh, the 10 by 3 and it's going to tell us what's the remainder of it so in this case it's going to divide 10 by 3 and 9 goes perfectly with 3 and the remainder is going to be 1 so what next we have to do is we'll have to loop through our array of strings and just count and check for a's till we have reached the number of odd variable so in this case it's going to be one so what we'll have to do is let i equals to zero and unless i has reached odd we keep going and what we are going to do is we have to check s of i for a if s of i is a we add one to our count and and at the end of everything we just return our count so let's go ahead and check this Ta -da! so in both cases our test cases are paused so let's try to submit this code and see if it's actually paused or not Uh -huh. As you can see, it has passed all of the test cases by hacker rank. So, good luck to you guys, and you can try the same thing on your own. And you can just copy the same algorithm and try it in any other language you want. Or if you can come up with a good, better solution than this, you can comment below with my video and share it with everyone else.